I'm Lavi and this is Oli. We are attempting a new Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. After riding 3,000 miles across Europe, we are now ready to explore the roads of North Africa. Click the subscribe button to follow our journey around the world and let the adventure begin. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 90 on our round the world trip. Three months on the road. <laughs> <laughs> so we are here in the village of Tubab Diolo in Senegal. And we're here in front of our accommodation, Zion, Lily's Paradise, <laughs> where we spent the last couple of days. It is indeed a little paradise inside there, but we haven't really slept very well the last two days because it's too hot and mosquitoes and again it's just too hot <laughs> <laughs> three things too hot mosquitoes and too hot <laughs> but anyway we must push onwards to see more of Senegal before our bike is due to be shipped out of the country so let me show you guys where we're heading today okay so we are just about here and today we are going to be making our way down the coast to reach a town called Palmarin. So we have a couple of cool things down the coast around the area of Palmarin to see. So we'll let you guys know more about that when we hit the road. So we have about 65 miles, which is 105 kilometers to go. It's already 8.30, so better hit the road. Let's go. Bonjour, All right, on the road. So we've just got a small stop at this little store right here to buy some baguettes and something for lunch Bonjour! Bonjour! Ça va? Ça va? Lavi's mastering the French there Nous avons baguette? Way. She's bringing home the baguette <laughs> She's getting some eggs as well. What a lunch, hey? What a lunch. This one here for a second? Yep. Oh, oh. Don't show this to a French person. Mm. Ready to rock and roll? Yes. All Ready. right. Ready to rock and rumble. Oh, I've got to get some wind in my face. <laughs> yeah. I am sweating. I'm sweating buckets! Sweating buckets from the early morning to the evening. Yeah. And overnight. Yeah. And guys, really, I had a dream that we arrived already in some countries which are a little bit colder. <laughs> <laughs> and then when I woke up and saw that we are still here and I have still another really hot day ahead, I was a little bit sad. <laughs> This is Africa during the summer and it is hot and it is humid and apparently a guy told us yesterday that the rains are supposed to come pretty soon I mean July is supposed to be the beginning of the rainy season and you can see that there's a lot of clouds in the sky but as of yet we have not experienced any rain Yeah exactly, I mean when was the last rain? Well, they say it's an 8 month dry season July, August, September, October is the rainy season but yeah so far we've avoided it if it can just hold off for the next few days until we get back to Dakar and put the bike in its container then I'm gonna be pretty grateful yeah so our Garmin is actually not working here in Senegal that's the reason that I will be the adventure routing for today yeah I don't know if you guys can see on the map in front but it's uh just completely blank all right there is tarmac for us Whew, there we go nice getting some wind so it should be around a couple of hours down to Palmarin where we've got a couple of points of interest we're going to be seeing and then uh, we've booked a place on booking.com which is right by the beach and is supposed to have a swimming pool but you never know we've had swimming pools before swimming pools 
I remember the one in Tafraut that was basically just under construction and uh, didn't exist. So you never know, you never know, but we can live in hope that when we get there, there's a nice pool that we can jump into. <laughs> So we've reached the town of Mbor and we are met with a sea of cars and fumes, everybody fighting for survival. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone wants to be the first. Everyone wants to get ahead and every car is totally like dented up. <laughs> so now we have to battle our way through Mbor to continue making our way south. Well, at least being a motorbike, we've got a little bit of uh, room to maneuver. I feel bad for all these cars and trucks. Especially the ones without aircon. It's true. Which is all of them. <laughs> <laughs> this man is carrying a whole lot of eggs. Man, uh, what a day if he crashes, hey? Oh. Whoa, look at the size of this mosque over there. That looks so impressive. Yeah, that is a really, really impressive structure here. Wow. Look at that, it looks like a fairy tale castle. It does, it does. Mm. It looks like Aladdin. Yes. Whoa. And it's got a huge garden of palms in front and stuff. Wow. Wow, that is really uh, something. We made it through Embor. We're back on a little bit more of an open road. Although to be fair, this road down the coast is uh, all a little bit busy to be honest, but at least uh, we're moving a little bit faster than we were before. We found this hut on the side of the road and we thought it'd be a good place to have a mid-morning snack some baguette with olives <laughs> we're in a sort of more rural area now with forest all around it's nice to be out of the town I'll tell you that we're on our way now to Palmarin it's about 20 miles more to go and we've hit quite a nice beautiful estuary area it's a little bit more rural a little bit more open which is nice we got some mangroves in front already and actually this is the reason that we've come down to Palmarin in the first place we've come down here to see the Delta de Saloon National Park uh, which we'll be seeing tomorrow that's a big river delta area big estuary with mangroves and uh, a lot of beautiful bird life so yeah so that would be really really nice and exciting to see you yeah and just to be out of the towns and to see a little bit more of the nature of Senegal that'll be cool we've got a uh, some police or something nice wow yeah that's a huge area here Wow, look at all these baobab trees. Yeah, there are loads already now. Loads. Wow, yeah. It's amazing. Amazing. So, so nice. Yeah, it's just nice to see an open environment, a green environment. Yeah. It's really cool. And all these really tall palms as well. Amazing. And some of these baobabs are huge. Huge, absolutely huge. Wow. It really looks unreal.
Oh, look at the size of this baobab. <laughs> We've got to stop and see this. Wow. That's nice. Wow. <laughs> look at that. That's cool. That really is good. a big tree. <laughs> this is the biggest baobab in Senegal. Whoa. It's measuring 32 meters of circumference and it's old of 850 years. Whoa. And very long time ago, this baobab was serving for graveyard, but it was abolished in 1960 when we have our independence. And since that year, 1960, they took out all the bones which were inside the baobab to bury them in the cemetery like everybody. Mm -hmm. And the baobab is our emblem. In Senegal, we have two emblems. We have the lion and the baobab. The baobab is really very useful in our society. Everything you see in the baobab is really very useful, starting from the leaves. When we cut them, we dry them just a little bit under the sun after we pound it to mix it with our African couscous. This is the fruit of the baobab. We call it the monkey bread. You see this white purple? When you mix it with sugar, you can have natural juice out of it. Very nice juice, baobab juice. This is the sap of the baobab. When we have a quantity of the sap of the baobab, we can mix it with arabical gum to obtain glue, very strong glue out of it. The roots, if you boil it into hot water, it can cure the tooth pain. When you have tooth pain, it can cure it. You can see the wood is really very big, but it's not very strong. It's sponges. The baobab is not even a tree. It's a plant. It's a vegetable, the baobab. It's not a tree. Really, seriously. You can see. If you crack it automatically, it's great. The reason why every baobab at the age of 500 years gets natural hollow. You can do nothing with the wood. It's just fibers and water. Oh. And the baobab can live up to 2,000 years. It never died before. It can even fell down. But even down, the baobab can continue to live. You can see the branch. It was broken and it's going down to the ground again. And it will have roots and branch and have fruits again. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Yeah. Look at this. This guy's going inside the tree. Look at the size of this tree. Oh, Levy's going inside. Oh my God. Whoa. Inside the biggest tree in Senegal, the biggest baobab. In the sacred tree! <laughs> Whoa! Wow! Cool! Awesome! So that was the sacred baobab. Apparently the largest in all of Senegal. That's crazy! That was so impressive, really, really impressive tree. So super cool. Yeah, and you went inside? Yes, Ooh. a lot of little bats were inside. Yeah, I could smell the bat guano from outside. Yes, oh yes. Oh my god, so no, cool. I did not want to go inside of there. Uh, <laughs> but that was really nice to hear about how important the baobab is to the people here um, and, you know, what it can be used for and just everything about it. I think that's. Uh, Oh, that's really impressive. I liked it. Yeah, I think it's really impressive to think that it's actually a, uh, a plant. You can see it's really not like the other trees. It's crazy. Yeah. Super cool. Standing there for 800 years doing his thing. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So now we're on our way to the second cool spot in this region. And actually we saw about this place uh, from got to gos YouTube channel when she came through Senegal and we thought that looks like a really cool place we've got to go and visit and it's called Preetz Vissel or the Salt Lakes of Palmarin so we should be there in about five minutes <laughs> So 
So the Salt Lakes are supposed to be down this little road on the left. Look at all these little huts. <laughs> They're cute. Yeah. I mean, I guess that's for people to sit and fish and then put the fish in a big basket. Okay, yes, look here. Ah, uh, yep. These are the little salt pools. Yes. And uh, from, from what we saw on God's Ghost channel, the area doesn't look too impressive from the ground, but when you fly the drone, then it's super impressive. Cool. Well, that was well worth a visit, I'd say. Yeah, it looks stunning from above. Absolutely stunning. The colors of the lakes are really, really cool. And the whole area is just really interesting. I like it. Yeah, it's very interesting. Beautiful for some drone photography. <laughs> <laughs> so it's awesome because our accommodation is only five minutes away in Palmarin, which is just here. Our hot day's ride is going to be finished. A day without headache, woo! Yeah, we've been trying to be quite efficient, getting up early in the morning and starting early to try to avoid the worst of the heat. And uh, now that we're kind of right next to the ocean and we got a bit of a breeze, it's a little bit nicer than yes. what it was when we were where we started the morning. That's true. So this is Palmarin. We have just arrived and our accommodation is apparently right in front of the ocean, right in front of the beach, with potentially a swimming pool. <laughs> <laughs> but we just have to see if there's actually a road to get there or if it's going to be another beach drive like we had in St. Louis. Oh, look at this like communal hut house place. Yeah. It looks like there's something going on there. That's quite nice. And so many baobabs and palms. And also I've just realized that the clouds have opened up and it's basically blue skies here. <laughs> it feels like a different day to the morning, I can tell you that. This is nice. It looks like yeah. this one? Yeah, in here, yeah. Okay, let's check it out. Oh, whoa! Okay, a little bit of beach. I slid through it. You think this is the place? Maybe. Maybe. Let's find out. Yeah. Hola, bonjour. I said hola. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see if this is the place. We have arrived, happy and alive. Woo. Yeah, it's beautiful here at this place in Palmarin. Look, our room is called Dakar number one, and it's a really cool bungalow with a thatched roof next to a palm tree. It's a little slice of paradise here in Palmarin, and I'm really glad that we arrived. 
before we just got too exhausted from the heat. Yeah, it's time for the pool now. So that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below. We will see you next time.